We already knew heading into the 2021 season that it was a dawning of a new era for the New Orleans Saints and in Saints football history. After a decade and a half of Drew Brees being the guy under center, he retired. He's gone. So now, what's next? Apparently, though, we didn't realize it was going to represent the last step of an entirely different era of Saints football. Involving Sean Payton, but more on that in a moment. And, you know, when you lose somebody like Drew Brees, even though he was clearly at the end of his rope, even though he wasn't the same player he once was, like, that could throw an organization into some turmoil. That could throw an organization into some chaos. And they didn't get into chaos, but you could clearly see the difference this year with the lack of stability and consistency at the quarterback position, not even just in terms of level of play, but in the fact that they had this fucking revolving door at the quarterback position. The Saints had to start four different guys at quarterback this year, and any team that has to do that in a season is going to be lucky to win four or five games, let alone eight or nine. Jameis Winston, Trevor Simeon, Taysom Hill, Taysom Hill and in that one fucking Monday night game against the Dolphins, you're starting fourth round pick Ian Book. Not only a guy that shouldn't have been drafted in the fourth round, but a guy that shouldn't have even been drafted, period. And he's starting a game as a rookie. You wonder how that's going to turn out. The team had a disastrous November where they had five straight losses from November 7th to December 2nd. And yet somehow, some way, they were in a position, in a spot, where in that last week of the season they could have handled business. They would have been able to make the playoffs, but they ultimately didn't get the job done. They fell short. So somehow, starting four different starting quarterbacks, this Saints team still finished 9-8, and eight, yet found a way to not make the playoffs. The offense was dead last in passing yards per game. Michael Thomas missed the entire season. Alvin Kamara missed a handful of games. Apparently didn't miss throwing any blows in the offseason, allegedly, at the Pro Bowl. Uh, the defense held its own, for sure. Like, you're still on the tail end of that defense that was really, really good. Uh, they were fourth in points allowed per game, seventh in yards allowed per game, fourth versus the run, top 10 in the league, and getting pressure on opposing quarterbacks. Like, this is a pretty good defensive unit. You know, credit to Dennis Allen, and perhaps that's why Dennis Allen ultimately was the guy that was hired, promoted from within to replace the retiring Sean Payton. And holy cow. You want to talk about a move that's both surprising and maybe not so surprising. Sean Payton's been cranking at it for 16 seasons in New Orleans. I can certainly understand the guy looking at it and saying, you know what? It's not the same without Drew Brees. And I don't want to have to keep doing this. Like I commend him for the fact that his coaching job and his staff were even get, able to get this team above 500. Because you have that much turmoil at the quarterback position. You're without your wide receiver number one for the entire season. You didn't exactly get the absolute best out of Alvin Kamara. The fact that this team was even in a spot where they could be in the playoff mix in the last week of the season is a goddamn miracle. But I got to imagine enough's enough. And Sean Payton saw the writing on the wall and says, this team is way over the salary cap. We're not any closer to finding that answer at the quarterback position. I'll go sit and wait a year or two and then go work with Jerry Jones in Dallas, which I think is what everybody eventually sees coming. And you know what? For Saints fans, like, maybe this wasn't so surprising, but it's probably a bit of a shot in the nuts or the cunt, depending on who you are. Because this is the dude that you've associated with this franchise for the past 16 seasons. Every bit as much as Drew Brees. And Sean Payton represented a lot of good for this organization. Like, the Saints used to be the absolute dog shit of the league for generations. And then when he and Drew Brees came in in 2006, literally everything changed about the trajectory of this franchise. They made the NFC Championship game that first year before they lost to the Bears and Soldier Field in the NFC Championship game. Three seasons later, they're in the Super Bowl beating Peyton Manning in the Super Bowl. Missed on some other chances and opportunities, sure, but shit. Won a title. Made the Saints relevant as hell. So... It's a, definitely a seismic, significant change in the NFC South, the NFC, and in the NFL as a whole to have Sean Payton not be a head coach in 2022. And this team, like maybe again, Sean Payton can see the writing on the wall. This team was heading in the wrong direction. They've got a lot of free agents, Teron Armstead, James Winston, Marcus Williams, Deontay Harris, Traquan Smith, Ty Montgomery, so forth. Very little cap space to work at. They're almost at the salary cap as I speak. Like, there's just not a lot of flexibility, a whole lot of room to do a whole lot of upgrading and improving for this team. And oh, by the way, they don't have the long-term answer at the quarterback position on their team. 
Now, maybe you could dilute yourself into thinking that, oh, Jameis Winston would have stayed healthy all year. Maybe he'd have shown yourself to be the guy. Well, he didn't, and he's not. So now what the hell do you do? You know what I mean? Maybe you bring him back. Like, do you really want to tie yourself to Jameis? I'm just saying. So now that this organization's moving on from Sean Payton, you've got Dennis Allen, now you have to sit there and think about what's next for this franchise, what's next for this roster. Number one, you've got to figure out what goes on with this quarterback position. And then once you do that, you've got to get better help in terms of the wide receiver group. You can't count on anything from Michael Thomas at this point. And the other guys that you look at, they're all role players, if that. They are not game breakers. They are not difference makers. And nor should you be counting on any of them to develop into such. Whatever quarterback you have under center in 2022 has to have better options in the passing game. And then when you look at Teron Armstead, like this is a really good left tackle in the league when healthy. And that's the big fucking hang up for him is he's never healthy. Like, how much are you willing to pay a guy that plays 10 to 12 games a season, if you're lucky? How much more are you going to continue to tie yourself to Armstead every year, knowing eventually he's going to miss, you know, a third of the season due to injury? So left tackle is probably a bigger need than you would think on the surface. You say, well, you just re-sign Armstead, but why would you at this point? There's a lot of money to invest in a guy that never stays on the damn field. You also need a better option at tight end. I mean, what do you have? Seriously. Like for a Saints team that you so for so long, a decade and a half associated with their offense, it's the defense that carries the most weight. It's the offense that held them back in 2020 and 2021. It's the offense that if they don't address it massively in terms of the draft, because they don't have a ton of fucking cap space, that's for sure. Like his offense is going to hold them back again in 2022. They got to figure out what they're going to do at quarterback. And then they've got to bring in some pieces to surround them. You've got to. Now, certainly, you could always use more talent on your defense. Just because that unit is good now doesn't mean they're continuing to stay good if you don't invest in them for a couple of seasons. I'll get you that. But the crazy thing about it for the Saints is, is that NFC South, especially with Tom Brady's retirement, is wide-ass open in 2022 wide ass open so with that said the saints have a bit of a sliver of window opportunity here make that decision on the quarterback ride with them surround them with some help and this saints team can win the division under Dennis allen in 2022 there's no question about it can they we'll see will they get the right guy at quarterback i'm not so sure will they invest like they need to on the offensive side of the ball especially now with the defensive-minded head coach, I'll believe it when I see it. It's what they should do, and it's what they need to do. But will they is the question.